Hi Cancer, welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with another person. So whatever your situation is here, you don't necessarily have to be together, but you do at least have to know each other and believe uh, to have a connection of some kind. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, male or female watching. Um, this could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. And energy is interchangeable, so you can interchange it anytime you feel necessary. And if it's not your story, if it's not fitting or not making sense, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Um, just maybe wait till the next reading or check the description box below for your playlist or check other signs in your chart. And uh, only take it how it resonates for you. So don't leave me negative comments. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading because I will delete them. All right, Cancer. So I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer, at this time. If you're new to my channel, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so I'll pull one from here, see what we get. And then this is a new deck for me. It's a journey of love. So first thing I'll do is get an opening love energy between you and your person at this time. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Look at the situation between you two. Um, advice, possible outcome, and then extra messages with this deck. And then I always go over the bottom of the decks also. So, Cancer. Let's see what we get from the Zodiac Oracle for you. Sign, we could get a sign, element, or planet. Let's see how it resonates. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Doesn't mean that if you know, their sign doesn't come out here or you don't resonate with this doesn't mean that the reading's not for you. So please keep that in mind. I just like to do this as a little extra. All right. For Cancer Love at this time, someone rising in Venus, General Collective. It's not a private reading. Four. Okay. Oh, I guess that one. Cancer. And we have Uranus. So Uranus here is the energy of Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but you don't have to be. That's totally fine. And your Uranus is 20, which is two, which is about unity. And this energy of Uranus is about uh, the basic human needs of life and changes in life. So the basic human needs, you know, food, sleep, love, sex, I mean, everything, the basic human needs. So We'll see how that plays into your reading. Something could be changing here. All right. So maybe, okay, I'm kind of getting a message here that maybe someone here is finally knowing now that they need the other person and now something is changing. Could have to do with this quarantine being like in lockdown because you can't start off four. Four does represent uh, stability, foundation, can also be the, ener be the energy of like, I'm getting like the four of pentacle energy where you're kind of holding back, kind of in a stalemate. Not a stalemate, but like um, the four of stars energy too, like retreat mode, because we're all in that energy right now. So we'll see how that plays out. So we're gonna get an opening love energy right now for you, Cancer. Oops. Between you and your person. I'm just distracted by a small spider on the wall. So, <laughs> okay. Between. All right. So we have dream a little here, which is 51, which is six, which is about um, healing and balancing energy. Dream a little. So this is about dreaming uh, dreams. It's about... Um, like wanting something to become reality. So almost like doing law of attraction, manifesting, uh, putting ide ideas out into the universe kind of energy also. Somebody may be daydreaming about you at this time while we're in separation and now realizing, you know, I need this person and now wanting to come together and now things may be changing. Hmm. Okay, so telling you to dare to dream, don't be afraid to dream. Uh, to set goals, be ambitious kind of energy. All right, so let's get one. I'm going to put you here, Cancer, on this side. 
put your person on the other side and this is how you're both feeling about each other and the connection and that one so cancer for you we have god speaks which is 33 so three here again is about unity uh people coming together um teamwork collaboration um uniting reuniting double three there for that and then if you add it six again for healing and balance so you may be very um, intuitive here, connected to the universe, to your spirit and angel team kind of energy, or you could be just very religious or spiritual. But this is very divinely connected energy. You may want to look up the angel number 33. And then your person here has central awakening, 64, 10. 10 is about a completion of something, and then one is always a new beginning. So I feel like, They've had some sort of awakening here. <clears throat> it doesn't always have to be, doesn't necessarily have to mean it's only sensual. I mean, it can be. But they've had some kind of awakening here. They're ready to bring something into either to give you closure, this connection closure, or something having closure or completion, but then one is a new beginning. So they've been awakened here. They could have been daydreaming. But I feel like you're very divinely connected here. It's like you know about this connection and they're just awakening to this energy. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Self-initiation, which is 12, which is three again about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together, reuniting, celebrating. So self-initiation, that is... Um, this deck is a little bit different, but I feel like You could be the one that initiated this connection to begin with. But I feel like with all that red, that passion, that fire, that uh, you kind of already know what this connection is or what it could be. And it's like you're already in that mind state of what this connection is. And I feel like um, you could be just daydreaming about each other here. But it's like you already know, and they are having some kind of awakening here. Wow. All right. So let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer. Let's clarify this energy for Cancer, for this love connection. And this um, Cancer, <laughs> if you're new and not familiar with my channel, you can check it out, like what you see, feel free to, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, be greatly appreciated, hit the bell, you won't miss out, and you get about five readings a month, and if you do, thank you, so let's clarify this energy for cancer, what is this God speak, so we have, wow, the nine of cups and strength, so, so I see this in this deck, as like happiness, joy, fulfillment, abundance, wishes and dreams coming true, Kind of energy so you definitely see that energy with this connection and then strength here leo energy here so very strong strong feelings emotions very divine strongly divinely connected for some of you uh, you feel the strong bond between the two of you this is also having inner strength being courageous and brave willpower determination um endurance wow very strong energy all right, so let's see. You could be single. You could also see them in this energy. So let's see what your person has here with this sensual awakening. That's three. I want two. One more for Cancer's person. How they're feeling about Cancer at this time. Judgment. So this is about uh, soulmates coming together. Reunion divinely you see like this divine energy bringing the soulmates together making a final judgment call and decision here they've made a judgment i i feel i felt that they've had awakening and now they've made a decision and a judgment judgment that i can no longer be without this person i need this person <coughs> wanting to come together but we do have the devil here which is capricorn energy which can be um, can be fears, doubts, um, low self-esteem, 
can be addictions, obsessions, uh, very strong, passionate connection also. Look at the majors here, strength, judgment, and devil. And I do believe strength is the only thing that overcomes the devil. So you may help to tame them in some way, shape, or form, whatever uh, this devil energy is for them, or they just see this as a very strong, like, very strong connection between two. Though I only see one person in this deck, usually they show the two lovers. So I'm just curious, why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? For Cancer's person, why is the devil here? For Cancer's person, yeah, it's stress, fear, worry, and anxiety. And we're all in lockdown mode. So, oh no, it's the Four of Swords. Sorry, it's the Four of Swords. So, this is about healing. So, healing, resting, rejuvenating, recuperating. Because we're all in that energy of lockdown mode of being, you know, in solitude. So let's get one more why that's here. Four of Swords. I thought it was the Nine of Swords. Page of Cups. I think, I think that they're so worried because of the world being in lockdown um, that when this passes, they've already decided. They've already decided they want to offer you some kind of loving communication, affection, or something here. But they can't right now because of lockdown. I mean, maybe you, I mean, you could be talking, but you're not physically together. So I think they're fearing here that uh, this may not work out in the long run because of not being able to be together right now, actually to like show you, be with you kind of energy. Ten of Wands energy. Yeah, they're burdened by this. They're really, really burdened by this. They want they want to be with you. They want to choose you now. Um, they don't want to be without you. Wow, okay. So let's see. Oh, something went flying. So we do have Capricorn here. Energy also. Scorpio, Leo. Just had a card go flying on the floor. <clears throat> the actual situation. So we got the Queen of Cups here. So it's definitely your energy there. Um, that's Cancer. So that's your energy right there, coming out right there for the situation. So it's definitely you having this couple of love for them. So you definitely have love and emotions for them. <clears throat> what else for the actual situation? High Priestess. And we had God Speaks there. So I think, you know, you're very <clears throat> intuitive, in touch, uh, higher knowing kind of energy, but also maybe there's no communication right now for some reason because the high priestess can be secretive or they just don't communicate. So there could be no talking for some reason, or maybe you're not talking to them for some reason. Maybe uh, they kind of rejected you in the past. And maybe there hasn't been any communication for a while here, but you definitely still hold a space for them with this cup. You definitely still have this cup for them <clears throat> in very strong feelings. So what else? Lovers. Yeah, right in the middle here. Soulmates, lovers, Gemini energy here. This is Pisces. So you definitely, you definitely both want this. It's right in the middle for the connection. Definitely want this soulmate union and this connection now. You still want it, even though there's no, still no communication. Maybe you stopped talking to them. Maybe they did reject you in the past in some way, shape, or form. But now I think they've had an awakening, and now they want this. And that they're worried over here with the Ten of Wands because there maybe has not been any communication. They have conflict. So maybe you've had an argument with them or a little spat or, or something or... They're over here just very internally conf uh, conflicted <clears throat> about this. What else here? Wow, the Palace of Cups. They're, they're all up in, wow. They're like overrun with emotions and feelings. This deck is the only deck that has palace cards. And there's one for each suit. 
and sometimes they don't even come out. So Palace of Cups, of course, Cups is all about love, emotions, feelings, peace, harmony, joy, bliss, and living in that state, you know, in your dwelling or just like living in that state. So they could be, you know, during this lockdown, you know, all caught up in their feelings, their emotions, and they're just so burdened by this and con full of conflict, wanting this so bad now. And you're like not, you're like, turn their nose up to them, maybe cancer. And it's like, you're not even talking to them. Wow. So let's see what the advice is. What is the advice? If they rejected you or turned you down in the past, now they're definitely all up in their feels now. It's like they're drowning in their emotions. All right. So let's see what the advice is here. So we have the seven of wands. So this can be defensive on guard. So that could be your energy definitely here. But it's a slow movement coming in, but this is very uh, knight of coins. So taking smart, practical approach, movement forward. They may try to come into you very slowly, practically, being smart, uh, being cautious, wanting to offer you now something stable, sincere, long term king of wands energy here so this is sagittarius energy so they're feeling very fiery passionate they want to go after it now they just want to go after what they want now they, but they will be slow cautious and practical but you may still be defensive and on guard here you may still put up a wall so we have the seven of cups so in reverse so somebody has made a choice and a decision here and they're no longer confused so the advice is here they're no longer confused i think they've had an awaken awakening they know what they want they want you they want to come in now and offer you something stable and secure they're fiery and passionate about it they just want to go after it but they know that you have a wall up or you may <clears throat> block them or be, be defensive against them but your advice is here that they want to offer you something stable and secure. They're fiery, passionate. They know exactly what they want. They want you. And they made a choice, decision, and they're no longer confused about what they want. Now, okay. So, let's see what the possible outcome is here for you, Cancer. What is the possible outcome here for you, Cancer? I mean, you're still feeling the connection and the love for them strongly <clears throat> you both want this but i don't know for some reason yours could still be defensive and on guard like turning your nose to them all right possible outcome. so six of swords so this is going uh forward to a much better place to peace and harmony and balance and leaving all the bs behind so going to a better place together but there is still fear, stress, worry, and anxiety here. All right, so let's get one more for the possible outcome. One more. Well, so I'm going to take the top one. Wow, and the Palace of Swords there in the world. So I feel like here this is definitely soulmate energy, or you could have had kids with this, children. Oh, oh my God. You could have had children with them. I can't even speak. Um, or maybe you've known them for a long time or somebody from childhood. Um, but this is definitely soulmate energy. Or you could have had past lives with them. But now we have the Palace of Swords. So this is living in an energy of not only love, emotion, emotions, fulfillment in every single way, but truth and clarity, honesty, cutting away things not serving, standing up, not backing down because wanting to close out a chapter and start a new chapter, close out energies that are no longer serving this connection. And, and they want to reunite, come back together with the three cups energy. I felt that. So I think they definitely want us traveling too. So they definitely want to travel to you or they will travel to you. They're probably nervous about it, stressed about it. Definitely wanting the soulmate, feeling this soulmate energy. 
wanting to be in a, in a place of just pure truth and clarity and wanting to start a new cycle here with you and bring like closure and a new cycle or this is you also fearing that what if they you know run from me again you know so that's the energy so there's a fiery passionate new beginning the ace of wands exciting passionate new beginning so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we got the five of swords so someone could be feel like they're fighting a losing battle could be you but now they see you as an empress also you know in your value your worth birth of something new like i said some of you could have had a child with this person but this growth abundance here value manifesting a brand new beginning here so the empress here is um, Libra Taurus. Now we have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo, but manifesting a brand new beginning, creating a new beginning. They want to create this new beginning with you, but they know you. they've hurt you in the past here deeply, and they now want to commit. They want commitment or marriage, or they level up this in some way. They want a very stable home life with you now. They want you in their life now. So, yeah, they're, see, they don't, no longer want to be, they no longer want to be single. The Nine of Pentacles is a single energy, but now we're in this chariot, that's your energy, or you could be single, but I feel like they want to leave this energy behind of, because five of coins here is about, you know, leaving something out, leaving it behind, or whatever here. They want to leave this single energy behind and move forward with you with the Cancer energy of the chariot with drive, ambitions, and success, and victory, and balance. They don't want to be single anymore. That's what I'm feeling with that. They now want, I believe, commitment now, maybe even marriage, manifesting a new world, a new beginning with you, seeing your value and your worth. But you feel like you were uh, probably fighting a losing battle with this person. But now they definitely... They're not confused anymore. They know exactly what they want. They want you. They're afraid. Afraid, though, of coming in because they feel like they're definitely going to be uh, on guard, defensive. But just know they're not confused anymore. They know exactly what they want. I don't have, like, any kind of... I mean, we did have the devil up here, so maybe they did have some form of an addiction or something like that. But I feel like, you know, maybe they've healed that. If not, they're just really, really torn up about this now, this whole situation, as with that devil energy. All right, so let's see. Let's get some extra. Wow, that just went flying, <laughs> flying across the room. Oh, wow, so we have 11 here, remembrance. 11 is about being uh, on the right path, being divinely guided and led and knowing no... This is going on the right path. Remembrance here. So again, could have been that past life energy with the Six of Cups. Remembering some things from past lives. 11 to me is always like half of the twin flame number. Added together two is unity. Remembering the good times you've had together before. Um, kind of energy also. So let's get one more. One more. They haven't forgotten you, that's for sure. They think about you a lot. They're dreaming about you. They're remembering you. Wow. Okay. Let's see, Cancer. Joy. So there can be a lot of joy here. 27.9 is about things coming full circle. So a lot of joy to be had here. And then we have here, you are the universe, which is 29, which is 11 again. So we have 11, 11 here. So I feel like this definitely could be a twin flame energy of like you both are one, you both are each other in the universe. Um, everything in each other is within you and within the scape of the world and the universal energies. Wow. You all are, we all are one. You two are one, I feel. Wow. Okay, Cancer. 
best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light